Hi, this is Wendy from Needlepointers.com. I'm going to show you how to make the star patriotic wreath. It'll adorn your door or any place in your house during any of the patriotic holidays. These are the supplies that you'll need. They're kind of like uh, tubing. They were from Joanne Fabrics. And I used two packs of those. The glue gun. You're gonna need two rolls of white ribbon, two rolls of red ribbon, and then two rolls of the blue ribbon, pipe cleaners, sewing scissors, household scissors. I painted this star. This was from the Dollar Tree. And I painted the star white. And I have a few little sticks to go in here. I chose to start with my red tubing. And you're going to take the tubing and don't stretch it because it does stretch and we'll give you the wrong size. So I took about 20 inches and cut them into 20 inch lengths. So I'll cut these like this, another one, and keep doing that with all of your colors, the red, the white, and the blue. Now I have my strips cut of the tubing. You're going to take your pipe cleaners. I chose red and white because I don't have a blue that matches the blue that I've chosen. And you're going to take your household scissors and trim these into thirds. So cut your red pipe cleaners and your white, white pipe cleaners into thirds. We're going to be using them to make the puffs that go around our wreath. So I ended up cutting a bunch of these. I have them cut already and I'll show you what to do next. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a red pipe cleaner and a red tubing and I'm going to make a loop with just a little part hanging down. Make another loop that direction, a loop that direction. My loops are a little large here. And try to make a loop going this direction. Take your pipe cleaner, put it across the center, the center of your bow. Pull the bow and twist your pipe cleaner a couple of times. So then you will have a puff like this that'll go on the wreath. So you're going to finish up all of the poofs and I did both packages. Used white for the white, white pipe cleaner for the blue, and then red pipe cleaner for the red tubing. These are going to go around the outside of the star. I'm dividing my star into several parts. There'll be a red part here, blue part here. So it'll go blue, red, white, red, white. And we're going to use ribbon, the ribbon that we have, to wrap around this inner portion of the star. So next we're going to take the frame and the ribbon and start wrapping it around the frame. I'm going to start with the blue ribbon and instead of using very long strips, I'm going to just cut smaller strips. They'll be easier to work with as we're wrapping and we can always add more on. So I'll start with about this much. And then we're going to use the glue gun to wrap this around this portion of the frame. So the poofs will go around here and the ribbons will go around here. Okay, now I have my frame and I've turned it upside down. What we're going to do is use this section right here to make our blue section of our flag and wreath. I need to mark that spot with my fingers, turn the wreath over because we want this to be finished on the back little drop of glue and I push these together with my silicone fingertips. Okay, so now simply wrap the ribbon around this section right here. So I found that it was easy to use a little bit of glue. That's where you can see it. 
bring this through here. And that's why you don't want too long of a strip. Make sure this goes all the way up to the edge and push that around. And we're going to continue wrapping around this part and then we'll wrap around this part. So I'll do a little bit of wrapping to show you. And I keep the glue towards the back so it doesn't show on the front. And then take this through. And as you can see, I'm doing this on the front side of the wreath. It helps me see how the ribbon is wrapping. Turn it over, pull your ribbon through and continue to wrap. It gets a little tricky right here because you can see that lump. So you're gonna have to pull that over a little bit. And I think the next one that goes on top is going to cover that wrap up. Go right over top of that. And that's gonna hold that piece that lifted up. Another spot of glue. And you just continue wrapping until you get this part and this part. So you'll have a blue section, kind of like a chevron of blue. And I'm going to finish wrapping and then I'll be back. Okay, you can see I have this first section completed. It's glued on. On the back, when I finish, I put a piece of a squirt of glue there and then I just cut this off on the back so you won't see that. So the next step is to do the other part of the chevron. And once again, I'm going to start on the back. And I want to be careful that I'm starting right against the blue that I had before. Okay, so I'm going to take this, this end, the starting end, and kind of overlap it with the blue that I already have on there. And I'll overlap that right there and pull it tight. Let that glue dry. Switch it to the front. Put a little glue right there on the wire. Turn it around this way. Pull my ribbon through. Just lace your ribbon through. And then this one is going to touch the top over there. Go to the corner of this piece right here. Put a little glue there and a little on the wire. And then lift this up so that it's covering that bump. I'm gonna let that dry for a moment and then I'll continue wrapping. Okay, my blue is nearly finished. I'm just gonna finish this up with you. A little glue in the middle. Pull this tight. I can see it's not too neat in the back, but working around to the front on angles to go around those corners, it looks okay in the front. Let's see, and you can see how that looks nice around there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is a red in this portion right here. So I have my blue, and then it'll be red, white, red, white. Okay, I've cut a section of the red. I'm gonna tack this on the back here. Okay, so I'm gonna loop this through and cover up all the way to that edge right there. And then bring loop over to the top. Squirt some glue on, get the hot glue gun. Okay, and then I'll continue wrapping that just like I did the blue. Okay, now as you can see, my red portion has been wrapped. Next, I'll do white. I'll do the red and the white, and I'll come back with you and show you how to do the outside of the star. And now we're going to take these that we made at the beginning. So these are going to go around the red sides. I take that pipe cleaner and twist it around the outside wire. And I do that all the way around where this red ribbon is to kind of frame it. 
Just take the two pieces of your pipe cleaner, twist them tightly, and push it down to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to put the red around this one and we'll do the other ones also. Here's the wreath that I have put all of the puffs on and it was looking a little sparse to me. So I took some ribbon that was left over from doing this part and I cut it to about this length. And then I put the white in, I just tied them in here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up to the front a little bit closer. And I just tied those on like this to add a little bit more depth to it. All right, and I do have some picks here. I took the blue one out of here. I would do something like this so that the red and the blue are overlapping. And I was just going to tie that in here, wrap that around. So there's a sprig. And as you can see, I have this one. And this one has the blue that I don't think matches mine very well. So I think I'll put a little shot of red in here. And just twist that around the wire. And then I have some white here and put in there just to give it some color and some more depth like the ribbons did. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this patriotic star wreath. If you like this tutorial, please be sure to pin it and bookmark and even share. If you're not a subscriber, please be sure to subscribe along with sharing our videos on Pinterest, Twitter, or Facebook. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots more free craft tutorials. While you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you don't miss one of our great tutorials. Happy crafting! Thank you.